it's been two months since Jumkey's attack on the streets of Raleigh. 42 lives had been taken before the police caught wind of what was going on. Confronted by officers on all sides, Jumkey took his own life, bringing the death count to 43. It was the third most deadly mass shooting in U.S. history. Jumkey framed me as the mastermind behind the attack, and I've spent the last two months hiding from police by living in the sewers. Unfortunately, in my frantic panic on the day of the shooting, I forgot all about the time machine that we store in the attic. I have since been biding my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to sneak back into my old house without being noticed by police so that I can use the time machine to prevent all of this from happening. And today is that day. Oh my god! He destroyed it! He really did think of everything. What am I gonna do now? There really is no going back. I'm trapped in this horrible timeline forever. What the hell can I do? Well, I guess I can open some packages to find things that'll help me live in the sewer. Everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Monkey's Mailbag. It's been a long ass time since the last one, and we got a whole bunch more packages to just fucking hit with the machete. Okay, this one in particular, I've been excited about for a long time because it's very heavy and it feels very round. And I'm hoping it's a custom bowling ball with my with my like face on it, because that would be almost as cool as this real ninja sword with my name engraved on it. If this is a bowling ball with my face on it, I might just end the show because nothing can ever beat that. Ah! 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 Oh fuck! Oh god, it is a bowling ball! I fucking knew it and it's heavy as hell! Ugh. Oh, but it's just black! How fucking heavy is this thing? Uh, no, where's the uh... Well, it's like a black marble ball. Do you see the... Do you see the weight on there? It's heavier than my usual ball. And there's, uh, there's nothing else in the package. I don't know who this was from or why. But they got me a big-ass bowling ball. And the question is, even though I'm on the run from the police and should not be at a bowling alley, should I give this new bad boy a spin? Now that I'm back from the bowling alley that I definitely just went to, let's uh, open up some of these smaller packages. Oh, it's a copy of Simpsons Hit and Run for... for the computer? I didn't know this was a computer game. This game's for Windows 98? Fuck, I thought it was like a PlayStation 2 era game. That's old as fuck. All I know is this game is clearly outdated very problematic character. Um, honestly, I, I can't have such racism in my household, so that one's gonna go the way of the Indian, if you know what I'm saying. No pun intended! So this package, tragically, is addressed to Jumkey Jones and Faggot. But of course, Jumkey just killed like 40 people. <laughs> If you thought $10,000 was a lot of money, just wait till you see this. I'm never gonna have to live stream again, folks. Woo! This one is addressed to some YouTuber, so for all I know, it was sent to the wrong person. It could, how many YouTubers are there now? Like, at least 20? Like, this could have been, could have gotten my PO box by accident. 
Oh, there's a well, there's a quarter in here, so that's literally worth more than the thirty thousand dollars I received. Believe it or not, is this a pair of panties? What is this shit? Uh oh, is this fucking child-sized panties? I'm probably gonna get crabs or herpes or crabs with herpes. This is fucking disgusting, isn't it? I would rather be wearing the adult diaper, but you know. Time to, time to beam that bone, you know what I'm saying, folks? Hey! What the hell? Uh, Exotic Nutrition Pet Company. I'm guessing we got pet food for an animal that does not exist in this country. <laughs> Literal monkey biscuits! M pet monkey food! And I think I have no choice but to try it! Yeah, you're shaking. Yep, yeah, yeah. She knows I have to try it. Uh, can be fed to many mammals and parrots. Hey, I'm a, a mammal or a parrot. I suppose I should give my give my mon monkey mask a break and get out the disgusting, sweaty human mask for just one moment. Uh, these crunchy biscuits are excellent for inhibiting excess tooth growth. Actually, there's been a bit of a problem for me, so. Uh, no more excess, <laughs> excess tooth growth for me. Hopefully this is, goes better than the capitalist stew. Uh, it smells like pet food. <laughs> like, when you go to the zoo. Why are they fucking giant? Why are they... Mm, oh my god, they're fucking huge. Okay, here we go. Monkey food for the monkey boy. We got something good for the next wheel of punishment. I mean, it's a bit worse than the scorpion. They're right. Your monkey will love it. Oh, we got a book. Oh, uh, it's called Come For Me, an erotic compilation by Cash and Company. Why do I feel like Cash and Company is a rap group? A sizzling hot collection of urban erotica. Yeah, urban erotica! That's fucking right! It is a rap group who wrote it! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, well, I guess it's not as... I thought it was going to be an anime book, but it's just words on a page. Teddy enjoyed dominating her. It was the greatest pleasure to know that he not only owned her heart, but her body as well. You want me to bust off in that ass? His breathing became labored, and his pumps grew quicker. Yes! Yes! She bellowed. Come for me! I'm about to come, baby. I'm going to shoot this nut deep inside of you. Oh, shit! Do that shit! Her pearl was on the verge of exploding. It had grown so large. I'm about to come! I'm about to come! I'm coming! She sang in a high pitch. It's beautiful literature. Shakespeare himself could not have written. I'm coming! We've also got some sort of flag. Oh, it's the flag of Kenya! Perfectly appropriate for the urban youth uh, sex book. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, it would've been more appropriate to ship the Kenyan flag with the monkey biscuits. Because Kenya's a country with a lot of wild monkeys. Now, would it be racist if I wore the Kenyan flag as a cape with this getup? No. By day, a simple monkey. But by night, Kenya man! Oh, it fell. Well, well. Just like Kenya's economy, straight down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's an economic policy joke right there, you know what I'm saying? You ever been to Kenya? Can you do me a favor and laugh at that great joke? We've got John, the inflatable friend. 
Now, uh, it says that they sent me John here, uh, but this looks more like Juan to me. It, the John doesn't even have a mustache. Uh, it's like they weren't even trying. Hey, I say, I, uh, I heard on the street that uh, you were uh, sailing in my territory, Juan. Well, I say, uh, that's uh, not going to work out for for Don Monkey. Hey, Paco. Get El fucko This is what it's meant for, right? You stab it and then you fuck it. I've seen a few Mexican videos like that, you know what I'm saying? Here's one from Marlene in Delaware. Oh, cool! We got some more high class art. We got Mumkashi, Jumkashi, Clorox Bleach, Elliot Roger as a ninja, I have to assume. The best ninja uh, hand, uh, hand sign. And it's all from at crappy.art for free. Oh, but let's hang it up on the uh, the wall of art over there, folks. We've got the coolest monkey in the jungle. Uh, in, wait, in the... Oh, I'm guessing it says jungle. You just can't see because my... Right there it says coolest monkey in the ungle, which is also a shirt idea in its own right. Oh, God, there's so much funny art here. Cool. He's, he's got his gun. I've got my art. It's great. Let's hang all these up. All right, let's do one from Cynthia in Minnesota. Looks like a video game to me. Another classic Wii game for my collection. I Carly, I joined the click. The only thing this will be useful for is jerking off, of course, to to Gibby. Gonna jerk off to Gibby. Insert clip of 12-year-old fat boy dancing with his shirt off. This man here is the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh good! This one is addressed to uh, David Clegg. They, uh, th that's not me. It's probably going to be some sort of lowly magazine subscription. Uh, but I guess I'll open David Clegg's mail anyway. If you're curious on how far behind I am, I received this on uh, March 8th. So that, that's how quick I am at uh, getting through these mails. Oh god! Another one! You remember the other one? Things Tom likes? The guy to jerking off your autistic son? Well, now we have Things Ellie Likes, a book about sexuality and masturbation for girls and young women with autism and related conditions. Woo! Yeah, finally some information I can actually use. I mean, uh, uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh, we, we had to censor out Tom's fucking dick. Or we got to censor out Ellie's cooch? Her kabooch? Uh... Okay, so far so good. Making the pizza. Oh, well, that's the end of that book. You know? Sorry, David Clegg, I didn't mean to open your mail. All right, one last package tonight. Uh -huh. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, good, another mask that they did not put eye holes into. Very useful. Why would you ever need a mask that you can't see out of? Here, here's a, a working gear, green screen behind me. You guys, you guys do the joke. You guys, I'm gonna hold it like a baseball bat. You guys do the joke for this one. Edit it into this perfectly functional green screen. Well, that was another fun episode of Monkeys. But hold on. Did I just hear something coming from Junkie's room? But that's impossible! Neander key? You son of a bitch! I've been waiting here a long time for you, Mumkey. 
I actually planned on killing myself on Junkie's Day of Retribution, but when I heard you evaded police custody, I had no choice but to stay alive to make sure justice is served. This is the police. We have the house surrounded. Jimmy, come out with your hands up. You called the police on me?! Jumkey wanted revenge on society by taking their lives, but he wanted something special for you. Killing you would be too kind. You've always wanted to die. Jumkey wanted to punish you with a long life of suffering. Get the fuck out here right now! Meander Key, I... I don't understand. Why is this all happening? The only thing Jumpkey ever wanted was to feel loved. And all his life, society told him he wasn't deserving of love. So he got revenge against them. But you were supposed to be different. You were supposed to understand him. To care for him. You were supposed to love him. And without any love in his life, he had no choice but to embrace hatred, to embrace retribution.